There's one early armor set that you maybe already have in Assassin's Creed Valhalla or at least some parts but are likely not using while it is insanely powerful in combination with the right skills and abilities. So in this video I want to share some cool tactics that you can do and also where you can find the outfit and those abilities. A like on the video would really help the channel out. And let's go. As you might know, I'm doing a Helix credit pack giveaway for 2,300 credits. And you can enter via the link in the pinned comment. And be sure you are a subscriber to this channel before you enter. And good luck. Let's talk about the Huntsman set. I gotta be honest, like you find pieces early on in the game. Sometimes during main story missions already. But I haven't really been using this armor set. While it's very strong, especially in combination with the charged shot skill. That you find over here in the skill line so down and to the right of course in the wolf skill line and you use this skill in combination with the hunter's bow by holding the light attack button you namely charge up two arrows that will then deal an insane amount of damage good to know is that you will always let go of the arrows at some point so make sure that you aim right to have the arrows hit the enemy and then if you got a headshot the damage will be really really nuts it's really satisfying to pull off. And with the set bonus from the Huntsman set, you make this skill even better. When you namely stand further than 20 meters, your range damage will increase. By your first shot, just by 1.7. But after 5 stacks, and you build up these stacks after each shot, the attack will be increased by 25, which is really, really good. A great example is against this legendary bull that you, by the way, find over here on the map if you are curious and still need to fight this creature. It's in Sussex, a 160 region. But with this tactic, it's easily doable. The bull will already be far away, so they can just prepare the charge shot from the hunter's bow and hit him. Okay, not a crit, but it did nuke one of the stun bars. And that's another benefit of this charged shot skill. And you actually see the perk now of the Huntsman set above your health. But it's only one stack, so the icon is not full at all. Now we do a second charged shot, and that is a crit, dealing 1310 damage. I see a large chunk of the health bar from the bull disappear, and we also nuked another stun bar. So now, because the perk from the Huntsman set is a little more full, we got two stacks. So the second shot will deal even more damage, and we see that as well. Like this one is also a crit, and then the shot that follows is 1430 damage, so also even more. And now we just easily finish off this legendary creature. Like you're basically skipping the fight, which is actually a shame. Like I really hope we can redo all these awesome boss encounters in the game. Hopefully one day. But for now it was a great demonstration of how powerful the charged shot is in combination with this Huntsman armor set. So for this damage buff you actually need two pieces of the set. And again you likely already got some thanks to main story missions. You find the cloak for example here in Leicestershire in the fortress that you have to raid. And the helmet is in Tona's camp that you can choose to infiltrate if you don't spend the money. And then you will also like need to find a key to in the end to get the helm. So by equipping two pieces you already have the increased damage. And this is also a nice tactic against sellouts. I'm just like casually shooting one here. It's a little harder to get far enough like the 20 meters away if the sellout already saw you. But I just ran away and I still was able to take the shot. Also nuking a stun bar. Playing on hard by the way like all the footage in this video is on hard. So it's even better when you use it on lower difficulties. And there's also a skill enemy on 280, but it really doesn't matter for this combination. So now I start the fight while the Sellot was having half health. Although I would have been able to take her out if I had all my arrows. Like that's the only downside. It costs two arrows per charged shot. So having an upgraded quiver that you can of course upgrade in your inventory will be very handy. And if you are curious by the way I now just took her out with the harpoon and then the offhand dagger attack and then rinse and repeat. Still fun to do in my opinion. But as you might know hunter abilities do not require arrows so you can still do them. And actually with the focus of the Nornir ability you can get arrows back. When you activate this you will slow down time for a pretty long duration. And then during that window you can take out enemies and then move on to the next. And with the upgrade of this ability you even deal more damage per enemy killed. So you can really just run into a camp and easily start killing everyone 
without breaking a sweat. And again, shooting these enemies did not cost any arrows, but it will regenerate new arrows that you can then pick up if you have the arrow reinforcement skill that you can find over here in the skill line. So close to the charged shot. So then what I do is just kill many enemies with this ability and then after that walk up to them and collect the arrow that you just shot. It's really, really nice. The duration might just overall be a little too long. Like even if you miss a few times, this ability will just continue and give you extra chances. And it's also great that there's no cooldown at all. So as long as you have an adrenaline bar, you can activate the ability even if you just got out of this slow motion effect. I'm not sure if Ubisoft will do some balance changes in the future for these abilities, but if they do, I totally think they will touch on this one. So get it before it's nerfed, I would say. You find one book in Leicester Shire in the tomb, where you also had to go to for the main story. It's pretty hard to miss over here on the map. And part two is over here on the map in Lincolnshire in a castle that you will actually go to later on in the story. But you can already visit like way before that. So I would say totally do it. And even without the Huntsman Armor, it's still a really nice ability to use. And I'll show you where to get the other Huntsman pieces in a second. But let's go over some other skills first. Because with the Light Bow, you can actually do a similar attack. This will let you charge up arrows and then unleash them but it's like a volley so it can hit multiple enemies or just one enemy when that enemy is close enough likely instantly killing them or maybe sometimes throwing them on the ground you will blaze through your arrows insanely fast though like it's five arrows for a fully charged shot and sure you have more arrows with the light bow overall but still after a few uses of this skill you have no arrows left but you can also do the focus of the Nornir with the light bow of course when out of arrows to just keep shooting the enemies and then in the end pick up the arrows that you generated like sure you have to shoot a few more times to get the kills compared to the hunter's bow but I was like still able to easily kill every enemy in this raid room with just one ability activation. I also used the man's best friend ability here during this raid. And this mostly just a fun ability to use to have the wolf appear and attack the target. But then on rank 2 the wolf will actually stay around for a bit to help you out and also hold the enemy. So you can more easily aim the charge shots and finish them off. You get rank 1 from the a little problem mission in the settlement that you can already get like at settlement level 3 or 2 maybe even. And rank 2 can be found in Oxenfortshire by finding an opening in the tower and then climbing inside and they will get the ability upgrade. I'm really curious to hear if you've been rocking the hunter playstyle. As I already said before launch, this is really the best playstyle in Valhalla. Most damage and also from a range. So really nice and... Again, with that focus of the Nornir ability, you also have an insane auto-aim. And sometimes go to enemies that are like super far away that you would have otherwise never have seen. Pretty sick. And if you have all the pieces of the Huntsman armor set active, then you also get extra speed when hitting the enemies from far away. And you see all the locations right here for the final three pieces. They're all like in very early game regions, actually close to your settlement as well. If you, of course, find something interesting in Valhalla, then totally reach out to me via the input at Jurepta.com email address or in the comments under this video. And totally subscribe for way more Valhalla content if you haven't already. A like on the video would really help me out. You can find a link to the Discord in the pinned comment for if you want to join and totally check out my previous video on some best weapons you totally want to get by clicking on the screen. For now though, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.